Hey everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Ark the Lad. So, as you will probably notice, I have actually made my way out of that dungeon again, which took like an hour or so. Uh, I mean, it was pretty brainless, so I was watching YouTube videos uh, the entire time, as well as um, fighting through the 39 more fights up to this point. As you can see, I have only one more to reach my 80th win. So, yeah, I'm pretty much one-shotting everything at this point. Um, Ark has been level 60 for, I don't know, forever. He, he reached level 60 before even reaching level uh, the 50th dungeon floor. Uh, Tosh reached uh, level 58 in the dungeon while fighting our way out. And I gave him the last two missing levels by defeating, I don't know how many Master Ninjas in the arena. Uh, then I gave Iga a couple of levels, and now I'm in the process of giving uh, Kukuru a couple more, although she's not going to level up again from uh, the last remaining ninja. Especially if he ends up blowing himself up, like the previous one did. Which kind of sucks. Uh, yes, I'm partaking. Kukuru. Right. Let's finish this. And please, I pray to whatever higher entities may exist may or may not exist, um, that 80 will actually be the end. So, um, last time I used Divine, Dun uh, Divine Judgment and that brought him into low enough HP. Oh, this might be too low. No, okay, it's apparently just over the threshold, which is good. I'm gonna finish him off with Divine Judgment, because why not? Yeah, they blow themselves up, and that gives me significantly less HP, uh, XP. Okay. Holy cow! Holy cow, indeed. Congratulations, you won 80 battles and earned one of these. Uh, seriously? Are you fucking serious, game? Insomnia card. These are all status effect protections, and they... I, I already have... Several of those. This is uh, quite the punch in the face, to be quite honest. Uh, yeah, it really doesn't matter at all. <laughs> no. No. Just no. You know what? I was thinking that um, that winning the arena might actually give me... Um, the last missing piece of the of the romance stone, or romancing romancing stone. Um, but I've since looked it up actually, and um, it's not in the arena, for what I know. Although I might have missed it, I am going to go back to where it's supposed to be, which happens to be close to where I need to go anyway. But yeah, apparently there, uh, people have reported that they were unable to get the second stone specifically because they uh, waited too long. So yeah, if that's the case then that really, really sucks. It's terrible game design in my opinion. Uh, especially since apparently, which I didn't know before, um, you can uh, import your save game from Arc the Lad 1 to Arc the Lad 2 and so forth. Well, I don't know up to what point. Probably it stops at 3, but um, yeah, apparently there is that option. So, uh, Tovil, right. I think it's supposed to be in my in my mailbox. Oh, wait, can I even go to the village or my house? Wait. Okay, so, great. Yeah, I can't even go back there at all. But apparently it's only in the mailbox until you defeat a certain boss or, I don't know what, visit a certain place. Uh, even before this state where I can't apparently even go back to that place to begin with. Uh, well, um, with that, there are only really two things to do. Yeah, save... Two things to do. Uh, yeah, sure. No. I 
I guess I might as well show you my uh, character mm -hmm. stats here. So she reached level 55, which is pretty damn high. Uh, yeah, I didn't really use Poco. Oh yeah, Josh is 60, he gets 57. Um, I used Gogan a little bit in the dungeon, but he's really powerful even at this level, so... Um, yeah, I didn't feel too much of a need to to grind levels for him, uh, especially since uh, his only attacks are magic and that naturally takes longer than just physically attacking, so... Yeah, it was a bit tiring after a while and then he died because he's kind of squishy and, you know... Chungara, well, I didn't... Chungara and Poco I used pretty much not at all, because, yeah... I guess you kind of know why, and uh, Choco is actually the reason why I'm here. Because I wanted to at least take a look at her. Apparently I am i will not be able to summon her anywhere but in some of these optional uh, uh, training areas. And since I will never be able to get the final missing Romancing Stone, which sucks, as I already said, um, going to the dungeon was completely pointless. And I want to at least take a look at what my uh, quotation marks reward quotation marks is. So. Joko, what can you do? You can do nothing. Well, that's great. Level 1, lots of HP, lots of mana for some reason. Uh, really good stats. So there is that, I suppose. So She's she's the strong melee fighter character uh, summon that I was hoping for. <laughs> but yeah, what's the point if I can't even summon her anywhere but in these very specific and completely, uh, completely useless areas. I mean, I guess I can go back here to grind some levels for my characters. But why would I do it here and not, for example, in the ruins? You know, one place to do that in the game would be more than enough. Especially since uh, I'm sure I could have easily, well, maybe not super easily, but I could have beaten the game. Uh, at the level I had before revisiting the the mega dungeon. <clears throat> go 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 go, go again. Oh, well, maybe not. Should have just cast the spell. Nothing else. Choco should be able to counterattack. So. If any of these enemies, of these two remaining enemies, uh, decide to attack her, oh come on, go again! Oh, sweet, she also causes darkness. Again, uh, seems like a great addition to my arsenal, but uh, what's the point if I can't really use her? Okay, attacker, please. Yay, okay. Split, yeah, that's actually completely all right with me. Oh, nice. Stone throw. Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Here, take a thunder. Hey, he leveled up. And Thunderstorm leveled up. Awesome. Okay. And with that, I guess it's finally, finally time to visit Sabbatico Falls, and we'll see what happens there. Probably a final battle of some sort. 
Oh, hello. Uh, no, I think I'm good. This is a nice looking environment, I gotta say that much. We got arch fiends and arch. Uh, arch ghouls, excuse me. Suddenly there are more of them, but. Uh, yeah. I think I told you about them, but I didn't show them off. Um, there was. There were four of these on level 50. Uh, no, level 47 on the dungeon, so. I am kind of familiar with these guys, but they really are just a stronger. Uh, read beefier version of uh, the Archfiend. Yep. Cannot summon Choco. That sucks. And there's really no point in summoning anything. Hmm. Thunder Gene, yeah, well. Wind Genie, Thunder Genie, Odon. <sighs> Why bother? I'm just gonna skip his turns. I mean, that's something I've been... I've been observing throughout this entire game. It's, uh... I mean, overall, I, I like it. First of all, I like the game. It's, um, but it it is very visible, very noticeable that this is uh, probably the team's, the production team's first or one of their first games, uh, because it's really basic in many in many ways. In terms of, I mean, level design, uh, gameplay in general. Things like making that ultra dungeon, um, well, make, making it so that you have to manually backtrack through that entire dungeon, for example, or things like the side quests that are there, like the arena. It's really, really boring. Let's let's say it how it is, and it's also not a very long game. I mean, I would have been long long done with this, if I hadn't insisted on doing all these things that I uh, didn't really have to do at all. And then those, I don't know, game design faux pas, like, you know, making one of the romancing stones missable, with no way to come back for it. That's just, there's just no excuse for that, really. Other than, well, this was not a very experienced team, most likely. It's and it is the first game in the series, and uh, I, I am really, really confident that um, things are going to get much better in subsequent games that I am going to play. By the way, so as frustrating as some parts of this game have been. Uh, as I said, I did enjoy it overall, and I can really see the potential that the series has. And yeah, I'm definitely planning to play through Arc the Lad 2 pretty soon. Maybe even as my next like retro game. I know I'm currently, if you're watching this uh, as I'm uploading it, or relatively soon after. Um, I have not been uploading uh, two games at the same time, or yeah, two videos a day for the last couple of weeks, as I typically plan to do, or I, I would, would like to do, and I have for quite some time uh, done that. But, you know, Laziness and real life and other things have kept me from upholding that two video a day schedule. Not that there is anyone pressurizing me to do that, uh, other than myself. But yeah, I want to. I want to get back to that, and uh, I typically want to do like a bigger game 
usually a PC game, probably. Maybe, maybe a non-retro game. I mean, a relatively current game from the couple of, from the last couple of years, basically. And my next project in that regard is uh, Abaddon 2, because Abaddon 3 is actually coming out later this year. Uh, might not be very much longer. And uh, yeah, I kind of want to be done with Part 2 before Part 3 releases, ideally, so that I can then play that relatively soon. And uh, yeah, so I want to play a PC game that is not not super old, and a retro game at the same time. That's kind of my plan. Things may change, I might uh, exchange the retro game for another smaller game, maybe a Metroidvania or a platformer indie game, for example, as I've also done in the past. But yeah, so I... If everything goes according to plan, I'm probably going to play Abaddon... Oh, okay, I thought you might die there. I'm um, actually going to play uh, Abaddon 2 as my, next as my, as my next big game, main game if you want. If you want to look at it that way, and uh, Arc the Lad 2 as my next side project. So, yeah, I guess look forward to that. Or, oh, if you're watching these videos at a much later date, which is actually a lot more likely, um, then all of those things will probably already have happened, and all of those Let's Plays will might already be completed, and will be on my channel, so check them out if you're interested. With that, we are at the source, at the Sabbatical Falls proper, and hopefully at the location of the Ark. If we press on, we might not be able to return. Is everyone ready to proceed? Uh, at this point, yeah. Go again. Lend me your power, if you please. Oh. Oh, well, that's just an entrance behind the waterfall. Classic. Or was that a magical pathway, a magical doorway, like in the waterfall itself? Hmm. What? Oh, there's the Ark. I was gonna say, what? The Ark is not there. What happened? I know. It's alright. <laughs> Voice of the Ark. What would a what an arc, an arc sound like? I um, really don't know. I am here to lend you my power. No, to lend my power to those pure of intent. The purity of your hearts must be determined before my blessing is bestowed upon you. You must first battle the manifestation of your inner conflict to purify your souls. Only then shall you be deemed worthy. Oh, clones of my characters. I really hope they're not at my current level, or else I made things a lot harder for myself than I had to. Um, no. Well, I guess there is no reason to hold back. Okay. I mean, as long as I can attack first, uh, I should easily be able to deal more damage than I have HP. Oh, well, okay. And with that, it's confirmed that um, the shadow copies there are not at the same level that my characters are. Thank goodness. <laughs> So I gotta say that, as nice of a touch as that background is, it is also kind of distracting. 
Oh, she's curing. Well. Yeah! Oh, and he's using that. What was that again? Um. Oh, Agedon. Yeah, well. As far as I can tell, Agi. Uh, as an agility, it really is. really only affects turn order, so. whatever, I suppose. Okay. Yeah, these guys are dealing some damage, but, you know. Then again, so am I. Um, good old explosion. Sure. You know what, what would be funny? If I... Uh, if I summoned... Uh, what's his face? Og Ogon? Odon. And... Uh, and would have him copy one of my characters. But, uh, that's gonna take too long. Uh, and of course it wouldn't be very useful at all. Hey, leveled up. Nice. Oosh. Kukuru. Kill Kukuru! Oh, not really. Oh, wow. Why is the Shadow Kokuro so much better at melee? Yes, Tosh, you do the honors. That's kind of a waste because he. Oh, holy crap, that was a ton of damage. Not bad. Um, yeah, uh, Tosh doesn't need any more experience, so. I could have played that more tactically, but at the same time. Uh, you know. Having one more character gain a level of three will really not make much of a difference in terms of the outcome of this game. I'm pretty sure. Ark, you truly are the chosen. Yeah, I could have told you that. Was that the final battle, by the way? Or. Because if so, that was pretty lame. I mean. It... This is not the birth of some power new to humanity. That which can save mankind is the same as from time immemorial. The powers of love, trust, and hope have always been here to protect this land. Almost missed that text. But the power of these were forgotten as humanity grew apart from nature. Eventually, the way itself was lost. Ark, pure of heart and full of noble intent, the treasure of the Ark has always been here. The trials you endured to gather the Power Stones were a test designed to prove to yourself the strength of your intent. Now that you have erased the doubt from your heart, you can work to unlock the power of love in all humanity once more. Once that is accomplished, the power of good radiating from humanity will be gathered into the Ark, preventing the return of darkness. Okay, so there is actual magic going on here. It's not just... Uh... Uh, the power to save humanity is called love. It's always been inside of you. Uh, receive now the power of... Oops, something. Oh, wait, no. Ark gained the power of bravery. Kukuru received divine power. This world has been sickened by the greed of humanity. The best realm, the beast realm, feeds on this greed and dark desire. But both man and beast will perish without your help, Ark. This is not the end of your journey, brave warrior, but rather the beginning. Isn't there an evil empire out there in need of being toppled? You must use the power you have gained and the knowledge you have gathered to return humanity to balance with nature. However, now that the Ark is unsealed, the Dark One will intensify efforts to stop you. The Dark One, huh? First I hear of that guy. It would be wise for Kukuru to remain in Saria to maintain the seal holding the Dark One. Ark, lead the people of this land and help them return this land to the place their forefathers knew. For forefathers. Yes. At last you have come to understand the meaning of your destiny, Ark. Do not fail us. 
Your efforts have opened my eyes to the good in humanity again. I await news of your success. You have arrived at a crucial crossroad for our world. Bear the load with dignity and you shall succeed. We shall be watching as you call on the power you have been granted to right the pain of this world. And last but not least... Ark, I believe that you possess the ability to right the wrongs of humanity. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I get the message. Thanks, guys. Thanks to your efforts and the efforts of your companions, a bright future may finally be possible. However, that promise is fragile indeed. You must act quickly to see that it comes to pass. Okay, cool. And the Ark remains open to collect... Huh. To collect humanity's goodness. Oh dear! Dot, dot, dot. Oh, there's the evil empire. Oh no, it's not, it's just Anvil. Ah, you have led us to the Ark. Good work, boy. You shall not live to see it if I have my way. Tut tut, if you wish to live to see another sunrise, I would suggest you reject any foolish impulses. Oh, come on. Is this really one of these moments? One of those moments where I'm super powerful, powerful enough for any of my three strongest fighters to defeat all of these single-handedly, but no, I have to surrender. There's no way I can win. Get in there and search the cave. I want that arc recovered in one piece. Yes, sir. Um, no. Hello, why are we just standing there and doing nothing? <laughs> wow, they, they're really fast and strong. Maybe I underestimated them. We found it, sir. Very good. Now take them. You shall not take me alive. Indeed. Tosh, no. This is not the time. Yes. Yes, Ark. This is exactly the time. What are you talking about? That's better. Perhaps Ark knows that we yet hold the villagers of Tuval in our prison. In our prison. Ah, uh, okay. Well, that changes things. His level head may have saved his mother's life. What? Or perhaps it didn't. <laughs> I I'm really confused. Is the game going on now, or or not? Why does the ground shake? Well, I don't like this. And so it begins once more. What? The shrine is rising as the seal weakens. The Dark One comes. No! Oh, wow. That could have been us. Kokoro! Ark! We have less time than I thought. We must leave now! Find the shrine Gogan spoke of and do our best to contain. What? And do our best to contain the powers of the Dark One! I'll do my best here in our in your absence. Good luck, Ark. No, Kukuru. Can we do anything? Throw a rope or something? Uh, well, I guess it's too late for that. Come, we must move away from the divide before we are consumed. I guess we should do that. Kukuru, I... I... You, you... What? Yes? <laughs> I shall see you soon. Farewell. Fare thee well, my love. Oh, fancy. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Oh, there is everyone. And the ship, that's good. So all is not lost.
Sir, our search is ongoing. Unfortunately, Ark and his companions are nowhere to be found thus far. Once the ground began shaking, all hell broke loose up there. Our rock tower just jutted up from the rift in the ground. It, it's chaos. And so the prophecy's fulfillment begins as the tower reappears. Soldier, seize your search for the present. There are precious few places left for them to hide. They shall be mine eventually. You wish, buddy. <laughs> That's always the most fun part. Um, why is this so blurry? Okay, this is not a... Why didn't they just do this as an in-game scene? This must be a poorly pre-rendered cutscene. FMV, I don't know. Maybe it's just... Huh. I don't know what makes this... What causes this to, be, to look this blurry. But this must be the end of the game, right? It's just weird. So they, they must have like uh, planned this as a multiple entry series, huh? Doesn't get much more open-ended than this. Oh, and there's Kakuru, all alone on her rock precipice. Why is it exactly that... Oh, wait. There's the ship. Oh. I was gonna say, why, why can't they just pick her up? But maybe they're going to do exactly that. It's a pretty big ship. Hey. Hop on board. Or not. I mean, why does she have to remain here to look out for what exactly? Wouldn't she be of more use if she actually came along? I mean, why do I spend so much time leveling her up? Only for her to leave the party now. Doesn't make any sense. Another black screen. Oh, the green flash and arc the lad. Okay. Well, uh, as the credits roll, I suppose I'm gonna say again. Uh, as a whole, I enjoyed the game. If Mostly for it being the first in the series and um, making me expect much, much greater things from future entries. Uh, hopefully, I'm I won't be disappointed, but I, I don't think I will. It's also it's it's not like the game is terrible. It's, it has its shortcomings, I suppose. But what game doesn't? Um, I'm actually surprised that it's it's it ends the way it does with such a non-ending. But yeah, they must have planned it to be that way, obviously. Uh, good thing they were able to make the uh, to make the the sequels. Would have been a real shame if if it ended like this and there if there had never been a Arc the Lad two or three or all of the later ones. 
I mean, the dungeon, uh, if nothing else, it was a very good place to level up and also grab, like, 75% of, of all the equipment in the game was was gained from the dungeon. One per level, really. One piece per level, so... Well, one piece plus a couple of level up items and stuff, but mostly equipment. So it, it was good in that regard. Uh, the reward, quote unquote, at the end was pretty laughable, as you saw. The summon would have been nice if I could have actually used Choco uh, wherever I wanted, but even then, it would never have been like necessary to use. But oh well, maybe I'll keep her for future games if I can. If if the same characters are important imported to the next game, which they should, as it looks to be a direct sequel. Um, the Romancing Stones, yeah, that sucks. That I never got the second one and never had a chance, apparently, or, well, uh, didn't know that I had the chance while I still did. So, yeah. That's a bummer. But, whatever. It's something optional, and I like to do as much of the optional content as I can. And this apparently is one thing that I can't do in this game without starting over, which yeah, <laughs> I'm just not gonna do. Uh, then there's the arena, which is really mostly a, or has been mostly a, an exercise in, in boredom. And going all the way to 120 victories, and who who knows how long it's going to go on. Maybe the next time it would have been... Uh, hey, great, congratulations. Here, take one of these four uh, equipment pieces that you already have a couple of and see you at 200 victories. I don't know. <laughs> um, well, it, I mean, it's there. It, there's no reason to do it if you don't want to, so... I guess it's it's really not as bad, but it's definitely not very fun or very original or, you know, but it's okay. Uh, the, the main story was short, sweet, uh, obviously only the beginning of a much bigger storyline, so uh, yeah, as I said, looking forward to that. As a whole, I enjoyed the game despite its its flaws. And I don't know... Oh, okay. Yeah, the seems like the credits are going to continue for a little bit, for a little bit more, and um, I'm just gonna let them roll. But I guess I, I'll shut up now. Um, as always, I thank you very much for watching and listening for the last couple minutes to my ramblings. Um, I hope you enjoyed, nonetheless. If you did, please hit the like button and leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Till then, have a wonderful time, and bye-bye.